Hello. Hello, Karen. Yes. Hi, this is Dave from County for, from the, the the zoning department. Yeah. And I just needed to let you know we're going to be um, seizing half of your front yard, and we're going to be putting an information booth out there for tourists. I don't understand this at all. It, it's just going to be your front yard, and and, and this is actually good news because we're going to take care of mowing it. We're going to mow your front yard from for you from now on. But there's going to be an. Infra- I'm in a private community. How are you getting in here? Oh, we we have a key. We we have the code, but no. What I'm saying is, it's just going to be like, a, it's just going to be like an information booth for tourists. So so there's like no, there's no, pam- you're not. There's pamphlets. There's a there's a a bulletin no, board with no. You know, I don't know. This must be a joke. A joke. So I'm just going with the fact that this is a joke. No, it's no not. one is coming in my front yard. No, no. They, well, it's not going to be your. Thank front, you very much it, and goodbye. It won't be your front yard anymore, ma'am. Hello. Hello, Pam. Yes. Hey, it's Dale from the Homeowners Association, and uh, I just okay. wanted to let you know we're we're going to be um, we're working with the city of N- and they're going to be uh, taking over some of your front yard. Again? Yeah, yeah. They're gonna um, they're gonna put some <sighs> some storage units out there. They're, they're Where gonna are put, they gonna put storage units? Uh, right in the front. They're gonna put it to the left of the sidewalk and to the right of the sidewalk. You have the wrong number. What do you mean? Don't I live in. F- oh yeah, yeah. That's the the right one on drive. Yeah, but you, how can you put one? There's no sidewalk. Right. Well, no. I just mean like between the the house and the sidewalk. They're gonna put them in the front yard, like big storage sheds. I'm totally confused here. Uh, what the, do you mean big storage sheds? The, the city just needs a place to put some of their things. So they're gonna use your front yard, and they're gonna build storage sheds in the front yard, and they're gonna. Why are they picking my yard? Um, I they just feel that's the best location. They just want to put some storage sheds out there to to store some of their things, like some of their winter things that they don't need anymore. In my front yard? Yeah, just well, not, it won't be your front yard anymore. They're they're claiming eminent domain. Well, guess and, what? There's a place right across the street that's empty prop. That nobody's built on it. Well, the, it's the, an empty lot. But if they put if they put sheds out there, nobody will be able to build on it, will they? This is why you don't work for the city because you don't think of these things. I don't want storage sheds in the in in my front yard. Well, they the, already t- put a ditch in there and messed up everything. Well, All the sod that they put back in drained away. They cracked my sidewalk that was never fixed. And now you're going to put all this stuff? I thought you didn't have a sidewalk. I don't. I'm saying my driveway. Oh. My driveway. Oh. Was cracked. Okay. I we see. called two different times, and nobody ever came back to fix it. My husband replaced the sod himself two times. Oh, well, that's that's nice of him. What a handy person. What a handy handy guy to you have You know around. what? Uh, you're really making me upset. Hello. Hi, uh, Eva? Nope. Tom. Oh, okay. You sound like a woman. Uh, this is Roy from from the Homeowners Association. Yep. And I'm just calling to let you know that the uh, we've been working with the city of and they're going to be using your driveway indefinitely i guess they're going to be claiming imminent domain on your driveway just so because they want to park a truck there for what we don't live in uh, you don't well i know but it's it's cuz you're, you're you're in their zone or whatever uh, apparently court is you know it's part of technically but uh, in, anyway not th- really we're part of county we don't pay any taxes Neither. Yeah, well, th- that's the problem. They're they're kind of upset about that, and and they're they're just going to be using your driveway to park uh, the mosquito truck. Oh, for how long? Uh, forever. Uh, they're they're going to keep the driveway and just use it permanently. No, they can't. No, they can't. It's going to be city property. No, it can't. I live on court. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we know that. There's no parking allowed in this neighborhood on the street. Period. That's why they have to use the driveway. They, well, they, we're not going to allow them. They're just going to park their mosquito truck there, filled with chemicals? I don't care. This is a house with a single driveway. Well, you should care. It's your driveway. I have two cars. Where you, am I supposed to park my cars? You're going to have to turn into a one-car family or park in no. the lawn. I don't know. Just Listen, pal, finish. I don't know who the hell you are. Just use the garage. Okay. But when calls me, you're from the historical society or some crap. No, I'm not. What are you talking who are you, about? Who are you with? I, I'm, I'm with the Homeowners Association. I'm just borrowing their cordless. Where? I'm, Where? Bar- I'm borrowing their cordless phone. Where are you? What homeowner association? 
That's we don't have a homeowner association. The hell you don't. What no, do you we call? don't. We have a property owners association. Oh, same thing. Quit, 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 oh, no. quit hey, nitpicking. I will call. You know what you're talking the, about. The pro- I will call for tomorrow, and you will not park a truck in my driveway and force me to change the way I live. Well, okay? no, it, it's not me personally. And if you don't, it's, I will be going to the attorneys immediately. It's the city. The city wants to park I a truck. I don't give there. a damn. It's the city. Well, you should. Give I don't a damn. live in the it's city. Your, it's your driveway. We have our own mosquito truck in and we take care of our own. Yeah, but mosquito trucks are nicer. I don't give a damn if it's. And I don't live in. They're going to let us use their mosquito trucks. That's the whole thing. We're, we're just using their trucks, but we want to park in your driveway. No, you're not. Well, yeah, that's no, that, you're not. That's the reason I will I'm, call the police first. Wait, no, no, this is imminent domain. They're, 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 I don't they're, care. They're you're using... not going to park a truck. Pick another house, okay? But no, that yours is the best one for the it's a, a central centrally located. Pal, I don't know who the hell you are, but I, I don't you. give a damn. Hang up and goodbye. Now you hang up. This week on the Snowplow Show podcast, I get to live my lifelong dream of being the mall's Easter bunny, and I tell a furniture store that I hit a bunch of raw eggs all over their store. Well, then yeah. I suggest you come up here and find them and take them away. Oh, I'm not even at the mall right now. I'm calling you from home. I'm being nice enough to call you from home and let you know. No one should have put anything in our store that wasn't that you didn't get permission Well, no, for. it was all in good be- fun. It was like it was going to be for the kids. Well, good it- fun has nothing to do with it. A landlord is very upset that I've drilled a hole in my hot water heater to help increase the water pressure. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. Well, if you guys had better water pressure, I wouldn't have to. Okay, Ooh. I'm sending the maintenance man over. I don't want him to come over. I don't have pants on. You don't have a choice in the matter. No, he can't come over and, and like, see me naked. Well, then you better put something on. And in the secret show, a lady puts a lot of effort into letting Carol know how much she doesn't care. I'm we pretty don't sh- care. I'm pretty sure you do care. We don't care. <laughs> Look. We don't care. We don't care. Don't block my number. We don't care. We don't care. How much don't you care? We don't care. Get a life. We don't care. We just don't care. Okay? Oh, it sounds like you do, though. All this and more can be heard on the Snowplow Show podcast at snowplowshow.com and on our Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers.